Cure sometimes, treat often, comfort always. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there is also a love of humanity. They say knowledge is power, so why not subscribe and start your own power plant of wisdom? If you are not your own doctor, you are a fool. Walking is a man's best medicine. Let your food be your medicine, and your medicine be your food. The physician treats, but nature heals. He who wishes to be a surgeon should go to war. The way to health is to have an aromatic bath and a scented massage every day. Look well to the spine for the cause of disease. A wise man ought to realize that health is his most valuable possession. The natural healing force within each one of us is the greatest force in getting well. Nature itself is the best physician. The art is long, life is short. Healing in a matter of time, but it is sometimes also a matter of opportunity. Make a habit of two things, to help or at least to do no harm. Divine is the task to relieve pain. War is the only proper school of the surgeon. If someone wishes for good health, one must first ask oneself if he is ready to do away with the reasons for his illness. Only then is it possible to help him. Our food should be our medicine, and our medicine should be our food. Anyone wishing to study medicine must master the art of massage. Leave your drugs in the chemist's pot if you can heal the patient with food. Natural forces within us are the true healers of disease. When in sickness, look to the spine first. The wise man should consider that health is the greatest of human blessings. Let food be your medicine. Whenever a doctor cannot do good, he must be kept from doing harm. Before you heal someone, ask him if he's willing to give up the things that make him sick. Science is the father of knowledge, but opinion breeds ignorance. Foolish the doctor who despises the knowledge acquired by the ancients. To do nothing is sometimes a good remedy. Just as food causes chronic disease, it can be the most powerful cure. The soul is the same in all living creatures, although the body of each is different. He who does not understand astrology is not a doctor, but a fool. Everything in excess is opposed to nature. 
Life is short, art long, opportunity fleeting, experiment uncertain, and judgment difficult. There are in fact two things, science and opinion, the former begets knowledge, the latter ignorance. Health is the greatest of human blessings. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. The function of protecting and developing health must rank even above that of restoring it when it is impaired. Many admire, few know. Some patients, though conscious that their condition is perilous, recover their health simply through their contentment with the goodness of the physician. The life so short, the craft so long to learn. Silence is not only never thirsty, but also never brings pain or sorrow. For extreme diseases, extreme methods of cure, as to restriction, are most suitable. That which is used develops, that which is not used wastes away. Whoever wishes to investigate medicine should proceed thus in the first place. Consider the seasons of the year and what effect each of them produces. Get knowledge of the spine, for this is the requisite for many diseases. Wine is an appropriate article for mankind, both for the healthy body and for the ailing man. There are, in effect, two things, to know and to believe one knows. To know is science, to believe one knows is ignorance. The patient must combat the disease along with the physician. Sleep and watchfulness, both of them, when immoderate, constitute disease. The human soul develops up to the time of death. Time is that wherein there is opportunity, and opportunity is that wherein there is no great time. An insolent reply from a polite person is a bad sign. What medicines do not heal, the lance will. What the lance does not heal, fire will. The chief virtue that language can have is clearness, and nothing detracts from it so much as the use of unfamiliar words. A physician who is a lover of wisdom is the equal to a god. Physicians are many in title, but very few in reality. Old people have fewer diseases than the young, but their diseases never leave them. There is one common flow, one common breathing, all things are in sympathy. From nothing else but the brain come joys, delights, laughter and sports and sorrows, griefs, despondency and lamentations. And he will manage the cure best who is foreseeing what is to happen from the present state of matters. We must turn to nature itself, to the observations of the body in health and in disease to learn the truth. 
I will give no deadly medicine to anyone if asked, nor suggest any such counsel. And in like manner, I will not give to a woman a pessary to produce abortion. The forms of diseases are many, and the healing of them is manifold. Of several remedies, the physician should choose the least sensational. It is better to be full of drink than full of food. Look to the seasons when choosing your cures. When sleep puts an end to delirium, it is a good symptom. The chief virtue that language can have is clarity. Sometimes give your services for nothing. Subscribing to this channel is like winning a lifetime supply of brain candy. Click now and let the Feast of Wisdom begin.